In this week's episode of Assassination Classroom, love is in the air. It's Valentine's Day, and I try my damnedest to actually care about it. I'm going to be very brief. I personally did not care for this week's episode of Assassination Classroom. Does that make it a bad episode of the series? Far from it. There's a lot of enjoyable scenes from this episode which highlight all of the amazingly enduring characters from the show. It's just not exactly what I wanted from the Calm Before the Storm episode of the series because we're this much closer to the finale and I know it's going to be explosive and very eye-opening and extremely exciting. So this was the episode that we needed, especially with all of the crazy drama which has taken place over the course of the last couple episodes. We needed an episode episode like this, to be reminded why we like these students and why we're so attached to them and in the story which they're going through. So, this week's episode was essentially all about Kayano trying to give chocolates to Nagisa on Valentine's Day, because in Japan, the females give the guys chocolate, which is very different from the way things are here in the States, but I'm willing to accept it for what it is. So we go around to a lot of the different pairings in the classroom, giving chocolates, lots of ridiculous funny moments, especially the one that involved Konsaki, but then we have Kayano, who's desperately trying to get closer to Nagisa. We have Nakamura and Karma Akabane, who are desperately trying to help her, but they're also secretly getting a kick out of the fact that not only are they going to be able to bully Nagisa, but they're also going to be able to mess with Kayano at this point. It's the perfect storm. So most of the episode is just a lot of ridiculous moments, seeing the students come together, their reactions to getting chocolate, and the eventual warm, humbling moment where you have Kayano giving chocolate to Nagisa, which also leads to this great scene where Koro-sensei is hanging out on top of this tree, and it looks like he's completely smitten with something, and that's because he was actually given this picture from Kayano, which is a picture of Miss Yukimura in a swimsuit. Very nice. There's also a really funny scene at the end of the episode with Karasuma basically asking Bitch Sensei to move in with him, which is a really funny moment because if this is about as romantic as this guy's gonna get, that's friggin' hilarious. I have to say that that was one hell of a scene. But it's also a scene that reminds us that things are about to get really serious. No matter what happens, this is potentially going to all end in heartbreak. Another assassin could come in and kill Koro-sensei. Even if they kill Koro-sensei themselves, will they be satisfied? If they're able to save Koro-sensei, will things really be able to work out? It's a stark reminder that after all of this happiness, things are about to get real. And I can't wait to see how that's going to go down. Not only that, but there's a surprisingly heartwarming scene between Karasuma and Principal Asano as well. They've basically become really good friends at this point. Something that I say that I didn't think was going to end up happening. I actually saw Asano going down a much more villainous light, but it really does show how influential Koro-sensei is as a teacher. So much so that Asano actually wants him to stay on the following year, although we all know that's not exactly going to be a possibility, especially with the things which are getting ready to go down. That is, unless, of course, they do manage to save Koro-sensei by the end of the series. So what's the rundown on this week's episode of Ass Class? Lots of lovey-dovey moments. Nagisa wants to become a teacher. Bitch sense Sensei and Karasuma are going to have lots of children. That's pretty much all I get from this episode right here. It just didn't really grip me all that much. That being said, this is an episode that I still think a lot of Ass Class fans are going to enjoy, especially depending on how much you actually like these characters. There are enough funny and warm fuzzy moments in this episode to make it something enjoyable. Just for me personally, this just isn't the type of anime that I like to watch. So if I were to give it a score, I would give this one a 3 out of 5, it's an average episode. But for those who are a lot more into the characters and this type of storytelling, you might give it a 4. Hell, you might even give it a 5. What I will say is this episode was very effective in being the calm before the storm that is going to be the finale of Assassination Classroom, and that's why this episode is still worth viewing. It does have some nice, warm, fuzzy moments, and it does make you appreciate the characters that you've really grown to love. So, I'm just done with this episode right here. I'm done with this review, but I want to hear from you guys. Did you like this week's episode of Ask Class? Please tell me why or why not in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching this review. I truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can do that in a number of cool ways. You can like this video. You can subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to see all of our latest anime and manga reviews. Make sure to also check out our weekly podcast show, The Powerful Nerdcast. It's pretty freaking 
awesome. You guys can also check out all the other cool links we got in the description box below. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, stay dandy, baby!